my caregiving journey um, started about seven years ago, unknowingly to me that it was going to continue for years and um, decline, requiring more responsibility of me and eventually have my husband in the place of not being able to work or hold down a job and even not being able to complete the most basic functions. Did we see that it was going to get this bad? Um, no. My husband's sick, my husband's unable to work, I'm the only breadwinner. I have no choice. I work full time, plus I work part time. It's not to go on vacations, it's not to go shopping, it's just to make ends meet. We're out of savings, we're out of investments, we're out of credit. So now what? There was times over the years where I should have been at home or I should have been at the hospital, but instead I was at work and was hiding what was going on at home. Um, the five days my husband was in the cardiac care unit, I worked 12, 13 hour days and nobody here knew that anything was going on. When I go home, I see it. When I'm not at home, I'm thinking about it. And you start having bad days. You start being a little bit short in meetings or, um, your attendance starts being on the radar because you can't get in for your start time. Last year, I hit a wall of anger and um, exhaustion and burnout, and I had to take time off. There was no question, but I was scared because I was scared what it was gonna do to jeopardize my career. Um, in the workplace, people don't get it. If they're not living it, if they haven't experienced it, they don't get it. It's hard to find that support. I decided if I was gonna have to accept this, I was gonna have to share. What helped me embrace all of this and start to open up to people more was um, I wanted to ensure that supervisors, coordinators, um, directors, managers, that they had the information and had the tools. So I was very successful in articulating the need to um, put my story out there a little bit. So every month we send a newsletter to our employees and uh, for the internal one, we did a little write up about um, my caregiving profile. And then what I was able to do is I was able to get the executive director of the Alberta Caregivers Association um, to come in and do a presentation to with myself and my peers um, and a few managers, just what is caregiving and how do you recognize the signs of burnout? And you know, how do you start the conversation and how do you prioritize self-care and why do you wanna prioritize self-care? So that was a big win for me. So now the topic's on the table. There is a dialogue happening. So the work care project can move forward because I opened that door that allowed us to connect. They had more clarity as to why I was behaving certain ways or why I was distracted or why I never went out for lunch. And so it's a fine balance. This is not a black and white process. This is something that needs to have a little bit of ebbs and flows, but it's really important for employers to understand we're real people and we have feelings and we're overwhelmed already. Putting more judgment, putting more criticism, and more responsibility on us is going to help us. But giving us that flexibility, giving us a safe place to land, not holding it against me because I cried or because I just wanted to stick to myself in my office, that makes you realize that your coworkers do have compassion and can be there for you. You gotta put the issue on the table. You've gotta talk about it. I finally found people that got it and genuinely respected the sacrifices that a person makes and why you do this for a loved one. The Work and Care Project is something the Alberta Caregivers Association wants to create so that employers can fully understand how to help their employees balance that care and that work. So the simplest things can make a huge difference for your employee. And I think that's what the Work and Care Project is all about. Just 
informing employers, creating that awareness, getting some dialogue and having them realize this doesn't have to be that you throw money out or that you're not a successful company. It just means that you care about the people that are working for you.